This past weekend, I was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it's it's so funny that that uh, I go to I go to Pittsburgh, and a lot of times when you go to cities, not a lot, but it does happen. You can go to uh, the team, somebody in the front office might call, a player might text, somebody, and uh, they want to come to a show, and sometimes they'll offer like a jersey or tickets or, in this case, somebody from the front office of the Steelers called and invited me to come to their facilities, tour it, see it. They had practice on Saturday because they were playing the Monday night game. They said, hey, you want to come to practice? They gave me a time. Not to, I didn't want to be there the whole practice. But I basically, by the time I got to this facility, uh, there was about 20 minutes of practice left. So I got there to tail into practice. And it, it's funny because being from Cincinnati, being a diehard Bengals fan, that's why I wore the Harambe shirt. Uh, I didn't know it was going to create such a shitstorm locally in Cincinnati. I have toured, not toured, but I've been to the Baltimore Ravens practice facility in Olin Mills. I've been to the Cleveland Browns, the Miami Dolphins, the Houston Texans, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting. I'm sure I'm forgetting some other teams that I've been to walked around Seattle Seahawks. When I came to Seattle a few years ago, a couple of the players came out, a couple of the coaches, they said, Hey, you want to come down to practice? I said, yeah, course it's it's interesting to just tour nfl and big time college football or basketball or nba facilities just to see how they <clears throat> the ins and out of how they work the washington redskins houston texans i mean the more i talk the more i'm like god i've been to a lot of different um tr not not just training camps but like their practice facilities and i mean <laughs> so i'm sitting there and I'm watching them practice for about 15, 20 minutes. Not a big deal. Uh, I've known Najee Harris, their tailback, since 2018 when he was still at Alabama. And uh, <laughs> I noticed that they had a they had a photographer following me around. And he was taking pictures. And I didn't think nothing of it. I thought it would be some promo pics out there. But the Pittsburgh Steelers put it on, like, their website, their Facebook page. And real polite. We want to thank Gary Owen for coming out. To train to uh, not training camp, but pr to practice today, and they've done this with other people. They did it with Matt Reif. I saw it with Tracy Morgan, different comedians. Uh, I'm sure they did it with singers, actors, just people are in town. That's what they do. And a bunch of the guys came to see me this weekend. A couple of the coaches while I was at the Pittsburgh Improv. But I say all that to say this: the Steelers posted it on their Facebook page, and all of a sudden, it took about a day or two. Cincinnati, certain certain Cincinnati people were up in arms. I'm a traitor. How could I do this to the Bengals? And I'm going, what? I was like, I'm, and I didn't post anything. When I went to Seattle, I posted stuff. When I went to the Cowboys, I posted stuff. When I when I went to Ohio State, even though it's college, I posted stuff. Uh, Houston, Texas, I posted stuff. The Miami Dolphins, I posted stuff. But I guess it's because it's Pittsburgh. I've crossed the line. Oh, when I went to Cleveland, it wasn't a big deal. But Pittsburgh, I guess I crossed the line. And I guess it it was funny because it didn't help that they made me a jersey. And, and here's the jersey they made me. Uh, never put it on. Of course, I'm going to keep it. I got a bunch of jerseys in a, um, in a bin at my house. And I just keep them for keepsakes. But this one they made, it says Owen 44. And... I thought it was funny because it was a dig on me. If those of you know my story, you know at one point my ex-wife was asking for $44,000 a month in alimony. So the fact that the Steelers dug on me with the 44, it was kind of funny. I got to admit, it was kind of like a little stab in the back. We And then when I got there, everybody was like, we know you're a Bengals fan. We know you're a Bengals fan. They was like, don't be filming us. <laughs> just give me shit. Just it's all in good fun. Uh but it's funny because then some people's like, you're a traitor. You'll never be rule of the jungle. How could you go to the enemy? And I'm like, let's let's just bring it down just a little. Okay. Uh everybody knows where my heart lies. Everybody knows who I'm rooting for. Uh doesn't mean I hate people. Uh 
I think we're groomed, especially when you don't get out and travel as much. You 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 just think everybody's evil in other cities, and that's not the case. Pittsburgh is a great city. They always come out to see me. We sold out seven shows this weekend. Seven uh, in advance. And it's just it's love. I go to Cleveland. It's crazy because some of the biggest cities where I sell the most tickets is Baltimore, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and, of course, Cincinnati. The AFC North shows love, baby. They show love. 